All right, what is going on guys? Today we're gonna be talking about something that you've probably never heard before. Maybe you have, maybe you even thought about it before you even heard it, if you have heard it before. Today, we're gonna be talking about nipple placement. Uh, sounds kinda fucking weird. You know, a little bit sketch as well, coming from some fucking asshole with two daggered earrings, but hold on, give me a second. All right guys, so listen, I was on TikTok. All right, I'm getting a lot of ideas from TikTok, so I gotta give credit where credit's due, you feel me? So I was on TikTok, and there was a guy by the name of Dylan, Dylan something, I'll pop it up for you guys in a second, but this guy was basically talking about how, where your, like, nipples are placed on your chest will basically dictate your chest genetics in a way, not really your, fuck. Not really your chest and eggs, but more so like just the appearance, right? The appearance of the whole aesthetic of your physique, right? And this can go back to, uh, you know, people with a thin waist, wide shoulders, genetically with a thin waist. You know, people like for, you know, example, Lex Little. The guy's genetically gifted with a very thin fucking waist. So, you know, stuff like that in terms of like pleasing at like, you know, towards the aesthetic aspect, uh, you know, so stuff like that. And this guy was talking about how basically, you know, some people genetically, their nipples are more down, more angled to the, you know, the side, more upward. I'm gonna play the TikTok really quickly of this guy talking about it. And, you know, without further ado, let's fucking do this because I actually wanna, you know, give my two cents on this whole thing. So. Yeah, boys, uh, let's uh, react to his video. I noticed my lips are a little purple. I have blueberries. Um, no one in the fitness industry talked about this. It's called nipple placement. I have really low nipple placement. Not good. You want some high nipple placement. Makes your chest look bigger, fuller. I'll show you some examples. People need to start getting on this. Short term, NP. Big. All right, look how high his nipples are in inward versus this. It just makes your chest look so full. Sush, I love you, man, but look how low his nipple is. Just makes his chest look so not round. Jack Italian has some great NP. Actually, above average. I wouldn't say great, but look, it just makes your chest just so full. It's just something that no one talks about. You just gotta notice it. Yeah, so guys, you know, he basically talks about how, well, you know, in terms of him, he says he has like low nipple placement, right? Which I don't really, I wouldn't say that. I'd say he has just an average, right? Cause like, if you see my thumbnail, for example, we have Sush on the left, Jesse James West in the middle, and we have Alex Eubank on the right. Now, obviously this is all opinion and I'm not trying to bash or shit on anybody, okay? I'm just trying to give a good representation of the whole topic of what we're talking about right now. But in the beginning, you know, in the first half, right, we have Sush, I labeled it as bad nipple placement. Then in the middle, we see Jesse James West, I labeled it as decent. And then Alex Eubank, which, you know, I'm not gonna lie, was kind of fucking sus, I put perfect. And, you know, mainly because of the fact that you see his nipples and, dude, I'm sorry, this just sounds so fucking weird just talking about nipples, bro. Like, why don't we talk about girls' fucking nipples? Oh my god, holy fuck, dude. But yeah, so you see Alex Eubanks and it's like his chest. Genetically, I, you know, I'm assuming most of you would also say that genetically his chest is his strong point. It looks and it looks more ahead and, you know... What's the word I'm trying to look for? Fuck. His chest just looks a little bit leveled up and more advanced compared to the rest of his physique. And I definitely say a big per, you know, proponent of that is mainly because of the fact that his nipples are placed slightly more elevated upper, you know, to the upper portion of his chest. So for example, if you look at me, right? I'd say I have decent nipples, right? This sounds so fucking weird, but imagine, just imagine, be open-minded with this shit, guys. Don't be closed-minded. Just imagine if your nipples were slightly elevated, right? Your fucking nipples are slightly elevated compared to where they are now, unless you guys are genetically gifted with, you know, a more elevated nipple, right? It just sounds a little, you know, fucking crazy, but I think that this could spark some fucking controversy, guys. I mean, the name itself, NP placement, that just sounds, you know, very, like you know it sounds really fucking cool and it just makes sense because I mean guys I feel like genetically if your nipples are placed higher on your chest you will not like even if you don't have that good of a chest or it's not as full looking as you want it to be genetically just because of the fact that your nipples are placed and elevated a little bit higher than you know the average chest 
or the average person's fucking chest, it just makes you have an upper hand advantage and appear larger than it actually is. Because, you know, I don't know, maybe it's because, you know, the human eyes, uh, you know, will, uh, you know, see the illusion of maybe because the size of your fucking chest is growing and the nipples elevate with it. I don't fucking know. But it's, you know, it all goes back and stems from if somebody has humongous ass fucking legs and a really fucking, you know, really wide lats and broad ass shoulders and uh, a thin waist that makes you look insane obviously the bigger your upper body gets with your shoulders and you know all that shit the smaller your waist appears and the smaller you're trying to make your waist appear you know vice versa it makes the fucking you know upper portion of your body and you know even lower like larger than it actually is it's all illusions especially in the bodybuilding community so i definitely feel like this is something that hasn't been touched on too much besides this fucking kid Props to this fucking guy. You should follow him on TikTok. But yeah, dude, I definitely think that this is something that needs to be talked about more. I think that somebody like uh, Greg Doucette or more Plates More Dates needs to fucking touch up on this. NP placement. Nipple placement. Let's go back to Suits real quickly. Uh, you see the photo I pop up for you guys right now. And mainly, you know, his, his nipples are dropped, you know, you know, pretty low. Uh, but he also has small nipples. So that's also another thing. I think that the size of the nipple itself is also a good proponent on this whole fucking, you know, this whole topic, this whole conspiracy, right? Yeah, so definitely, I'm not gonna lie, this is something that's very interesting to me, and I definitely wanna see this, you know, roaming around the fitness community. I wanna see, you know, more controversy going and, and, and a lot more people talking about this topic. So uh, I definitely wanna learn more about this and, and definitely see, like, the differences between people's chests, you know, this guy's chest with that guy's fucking chest. Because I definitely noticed, and it, it's one of those things that, like, you don't really know why, but you just know it's there, right? For example, you know, you look at some fucking kid that, you know, he has a decent sized chest, but his nipples are placed the way, you know, we're talking about, right? Like, you know, Alex Eubank. And you'll be like, wow, this guy has, you know, a fucking really good ass chest. But realistically speaking, maybe it's just because of the fact that his fucking nipples, he was genetically born with his nipples just being more elevated, right? So I think that's something very interesting to talk about. And then it's also another thing where you'll see somebody else where their chest is decently sized or maybe the same fucking size as the kid I was just talking about earlier, fucking, you know, Joe from across the street. But his nipples are slightly, you know, downhill a little bit, right? Or maybe to the side right here, you know? So, you know, maybe the guy's like, oh, fuck, man, my chest and necks are shit. Or, like, somebody else told him, yeah, you need to work on your chest a little bit more. You know what I'm saying? So, I definitely think that this is an interesting fucking topic. And I definitely want to, you know, dwell more into this in the future. If anything new comes up or whatever, right? So, here's a question, though, before we end off this video. Does the placement of your nipples predict your chest genetics do they predict your chest genetics i don't think so but what i do fucking think is that they will predict and give off the illusion of whatever right if you have poor chest uh nipple placement right then it will give off the illusion that your chest is not as large or as aesthetic than you know somebody with you know more elevated nipples right the other guy will have more of an aesthetically pleasing chest so that's what I wanted to talk about for you boys. It's a very short video, but it's very interesting. I'm not gonna fucking lie. So let me know what you guys think down below. Comment down below what you think. Maybe if you think I was a fucking jackass or maybe I'm wrong, maybe fucking Such has amazing nipple placement or fucking Jesse James West is not decent. Maybe he has fucking superb fucking uh, nipple genetics. I don't fucking know. But if you guys want me to do a, uh, you know, nipple placement video on Lana Rhodes and fucking Riley Reed and, and you know, uh, me Khalifa, Hit the like button. Maybe I'll fucking do it. You know? But yeah, guys, uh, that's definitely what I want to talk about today. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell if you haven't already. And once again, it's your boy Kevin Diaz from Crew Aesthetics. We're fucking out. See ya.